Hi, today we're going to be using this, which is the MAC Studio Mist Foundation. It's about £16 and I got it in a CCO because I don't think MAC actually sell it anymore. So what I'm going to do is take you through the basic preparation for using this product, which is an aerosol. And I went for the dark colour, um, and you can sort of see a bit on there. It doesn't come out as dark as you think, it's all about layers, so we're just going to start with a bit of prep. So we're going to start with a makeup band, and um, we're going to just put this to protect our hairline basically, because we do want it to merge nicely, but we don't want to end up with funny coloured hair. So you can leave your ears exposed or not, it's not going to hurt to get a bit of makeup on your ears. Actually sometimes it's quite good in photographs because they won't look so pink. Now, now I look like a loon, that's fine. Next, take a small towel and pop that over your shoulders, like that. Or you can do it the fancy way, which is over one shoulder, <laughs> then pick up the corner of the other and fold it over like that, and it just kind of tends to stay a bit better. And take it down as low as you need to, to cover the clothes that you want to wear, because I actually want my makeup down here as well. Now, if your little nozzle gets a bit clogged, just run it and just take it off like this. Just pull it off the can like you would any other. And just run it under a tap. A warm tap will just clear any dry clogs or anything. I used this this morning, so it should be fine. I don't think I need some concealer, but it's a good idea to pop a bit of concealer in the places that you would normally put it which are sort of around the eyes, maybe around the nose, lips and chin. But I'm just going to go for it and then you'll see. And you can do this on yourself. So points to note, do not inhale it, that's not brilliant. So when you're doing it just try not to breathe. This is quick so I will try and slow it down on the actual video so that you can see how long it takes and what's happening. Alrighty. I'm shaking it up, adjusting the towel. So we're going to start in the middle of the face. So a quick, not even five seconds squirt. We're going to start in the middle of the face. Then we're going to do across the forehead, down the cheeks, and then across there. So watch carefully, blink, and you might miss it. So I'm not, I'm not breathing. I'm literally just going to just breathe out. So deep breath. And that's it. That's all you need to do. What you can do, if you feel it's maybe a bit patchy, buff it with a kabuki brush to just blend it even more. Especially around the eyes, like this. And around the nose, and in sort of crevices and stuff. And up into the hairline. Give it a good brush. So you can see I've got a little bit here, so you do need to protect your hair from this. And there we go, I'm done, how quick was that? And it really is a lovely looking foundation, I quite like the colour, this one is dark but it comes in two other colours, so um, if you do have a CCO near you or you can find it online, give it a go, it's quite good. So I've just turned the lights down a little because they can be a bit bright and they'll bleach out the colour, but you can see, now that I've just got... Um, a little bit of light on me, how natural this foundation looks and it's really soft, you can hardly feel that you're wearing anything as I said, if you feel you need a bit more concealer pop some concealer over the top, it's fine and um, you don't even have to set it with powder but you can if you want to, it's really multifunctional anyway, I'm off to go and do some makeup now so see you again, bye!